Uh, long story short, emotions evolved for survival in groups. And guess who was the first to study emotion? Hit us. You probably heard his name before. He wrote some kind of book, JD. Remember, it was like the origins of Slippy Swanson. Or, I can't origins remember. Of origins of something, but whatever. This Darwin guy, he studied emotions after he finished that origins book. And he, his next book after that was called The Expression of the Emotions in Man and Animals. Darwin considered emotions an evolutionary adaptation after years of cataloging human emotional expressions just like Galapagos finches. Darwin concluded, emotions are evolutionary adaptations. When you're surprised and you lift your eyebrows, you're expanding your visual field to take in more data. When you draw a breath, <gasps> you're prepping for a fight or for a flight. When you upturn the lip because you're mad, you're, you're like a dog snarl, baring your teeth, showing aggression, trying to make someone scared of you. These are just some kind of my, little tiny examples from Darwin, but our three authors really emphasize here that, look, Darwin was on to something. Emotions help you survive. And then you had Freud after Darwin. You had a whole bunch of kind of the, you know, People sort of the, taking it out of Darwin. And they stuff. went a different direction. Until the 1960s, small group of researchers jumped back on the emotion Darwin train and made some progress, such as Paul Ekman and Carol Izzard. Those are very kiki names. Independently confirmed a central proposition in Darwin's evolutionary theory of emotions, that facial expressions are a universal human communication system. Keyword being universal. And to prove this, they were reviewing footage of pre-literate tribes in New Guinea and concluded that they are making the same faces as us. I mean, you could go to any far off Stone Age tribe in the world and they're going to do eyebrow furls and they're going to do teeth snarls. And Jay, you just got to think about these scientists in white lab coats in Papua New Guinea or wherever and just like, huh, you know, watching all the New Guinea tribal drama and measuring eyebrow furl heights. I mean, come on. Woo. Yeah. 